In this next section, we'll show how to make quick adjustments to the FC9000's cut settings, such as force, speed, and tool type. Then, we will also cover how to test the settings once the adjustments have been made. To know what the current settings are, the main screen displays them here. Here we can check the blade type, which is currently set to the standard blade CB09U. The speed is 45, the force is 12, and the acceleration is 3. We will only concern ourselves with the speed, force, and blade type for right now. To change these values, press the condition slash test key. You'll notice that three of the most frequently adjusted settings are shown, tool type, speed, and force. Let's change the force first by pressing the 4 key. This page shows a number of options. All that we are concerned with is the force value shown here and how to adjust the value. This we can do by simply pressing the up or down key. Once the force is adjusted, we can accept the value by pressing enter. This returns us to the previous screen. Now that the force is set, we can go ahead and adjust the speed by pressing the three key. Here we have a similar menu to the force menu where the highlighted number is the current speed and adjusting the value is done by pressing the up and down arrow key. Once it is adjusted, press the enter key to accept the new value and it returns to the previous menu again. Now we can go ahead and change the tool type. For instance, we could change the tool type to pen, perhaps because we plan to plot. So we'd press the two key for tool. You'll notice that this window is a little different in that the current tool type is shown here. Once again, to change it, we simply press the up and down arrow key. For right now though, let's keep the tool type to CB09U by pressing the up arrow key and press enter to accept the value or change. Once the force is set, we will most likely want to test the setting. To do this, notice that at the bottom of the condition screen, it indicates that if we press the right or left arrow keys, it will cut these patterns. Pressing the left arrow key cuts the one test pattern, and pressing the right arrow key cuts the three test patterns. Let's press the left arrow key to perform a test cut of a square and triangle. A message appears to allow us to move the tool head to a different location. In this case, we can just press enter. This will have the tool head cut a pattern of a triangle within a square. Next, we just pull out the square and if it removes easily, we can keep the force as is. If not, just increase the force by one. The other test pattern is a little more helpful in that it actually cuts three patterns, with each pattern having a different force. Let's press the right arrow key and have it cut the three patterns. Looking at the pattern, each one has a different force. The middle pattern is the current force. The pattern on the left is force plus one. In other words, if the current force is 14, this pattern would be cut at a force of 15. The pattern on the right is force minus one. Once again, if the force is 14, this pattern would be cut at a force of 13. All the patterns were removed easily so we can keep the force as is. Once again, if there was difficulty pulling out the middle squares, we could try the left pattern and adjust the force accordingly. What we learned in this segment is how to quickly change values to suit our media. Keep in mind that if you find that you are cutting different medias with different cut settings, please review the lesson on using conditions. There you will be guided on how to set up different cutting conditions for media types you cut, and then be able to quickly switch to those conditions.